Report taken from Fox News. Kanye West deleted a tweet early Wednesday in which he said he was trying to divorce wife Kim Kardashian, according to a report. I've been trying to get divorced since Kim met with me at the Waldorf for prison reform, West wrote in an apparent reference to rapper Meek Mill just minutes before deleting it, according to Reuters. The tweet came about a day after West went on a bizarre Twitter rant Monday and made other strange comments during a presidential campaign speech Sunday. West appeared to reach out to his mother-in-law, Kris Jenner, mentioned his marriage and said he feels that he could end up getting locked up like Mandela, in since deleted tweets Monday. On Sunday, he held a campaign rally in North Charleston, SC, where he criticized Harriet Tubman and became tearful when he spoke about his mother and abortion. Even if my wife wants to divorce me after this speech, she brought North into the world even when I didn't want to, he said while crying. She stood up and she protected that child. You know who else protected a child? 43 years ago, who do you think protected a child? On his Monday night post, West also wrote, Kim was trying to fly to Wyoming with a doctor to lock me up like on the movie Get Out because I cried about saving my daughter's life yesterday. Reports indicate that Kardashian, 39, is furious at her 43-year-old husband after he claimed that they considered terminating Kardashian's first pregnancy, which eventually resulted in their daughter North. Freedom 
comes from you not downing your brother and your sister. The freedom comes from you putting that gun down and not shooting people at the gas station. It has nothing to do with this election. It only has to do with God and God's people. He said, come on. He set pause for us to take a moment and breathe and not tick-tock ourselves out. He set pause for us. Now we have a moment to breathe. It has nothing to do with black, white, rich, poor, red, blue, Native American, pilgrim. It has to deal with being truthful to what God has. I see you have your hands up. Walk up here. You're going to get your chair. Walk in. Yes, you're going to get Walk up here. Now, now, let me tell you something. I heard you. All right. So let me tell you. I'm talking about Planned Parenthood. So, one more minute. We're going to talk. I'm going to have my thought, and then I'm going to do Planned Parenthood. So, one more minute.
saying? We're not going to go back to women having to go in an alley and do crazy type of things. We understand the conditions. We understand the conditions of black people in America and why we break every store that's there. We understand the conditions of women in America. We understand that we live in a white supremacist world. And until that is equalized, people stand on rights that make them more equal. The idea of a woman having a choice, I understand because it says, hey, but I can do this stuff. When a black man breaks, gets mad, rap, plays ball, wears gold chain, I got gold teeth, my bottom teeth are removed from my gold teeth. And part, partially it's because I can do that. Partially it's because I can do that. So I understand the perspective. And here goes the liberals. He can pair abortion and gold teeth. Hey, let me, let me explain something to, to liberals though. What are you? Nothing? <laughs>
you. She openly opened up to you guys to me on a platform and said she had a baby, she had an abortion a few months ago. And her maternal instincts were that she wanted to have the baby, but she felt she couldn't support the baby on $9 minimum wage. I just think my goal was
point of how important it was for her to have the option as a woman because she did not have the resources in order to have a baby as she felt. This woman is so great. Georgia, can we make a hand for Georgia right now?
for you to get locked up, you will end up going to jail. I was talking to a fellow billionaire, and he talked about... <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
because I am not that kind of Christian. Jesus loves everyone. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves everyone. There's a lot of Christians that feel like, oh, Jesus is against gay people. How can Jesus be against if he came into a black church? Thank you. 